While major units of the Japanese fleet were capable of opposing the operation, it was believed that these units would not interfere except for hit-and-run raids on detached units of American forces. The Japanese were capable of launching more powerful air and submarine attacks than had been heretofore launched in any previous Central Pacific operation. An operation plan was issued 26 April 1944. The mission. Expeditionary Troops, Task Force 56, with Joint Expeditionary Force, Task Force 51, beginning on Dog Day, will seize, occupy, and defend Saipan, Guam, and Tinian Islands in order to obtain their use and deny them to the enemy. Then we'll prepare for further amphibious operations as directed. That portion of Task Force 56 concerned with the attack on Saipan and under the command of Lieutenant General H.M. Smith was composed of Northern Troops and Landing Force. The organization, Corps Troops of the 5th Pib Corps, 4th Marine Division, 2nd Marine Division, 24th Corps Artillery, 10th Marines reinforced, 14th Marines reinforced and other field artillery units, anti-aircraft artillery. There were other attached units such as signal battalions, medical battalions, engineers, air warning companies, amphibious reconnaissance battalions, amphibian tank and tractor battalions and garrison forces. In support, 27th Infantry Division, part of the Southern Landing Force. In addition, the 77th Infantry Division was to be alerted at Oahu and prepared to land in support as directed. Task assignments for the Northern Troops and Landing Force called for. The 1st Battalion, 2nd Marines reinforced, to land during the night of Dog Minus One Day on beaches at Magician Bay and move inland to seize Mount Tapacho and defend it until relieved. This landing was canceled prior to embarkation, and the 1st Battalion was placed in Corps Reserve. It reverted to division control on D-Day. The 4th Marine Division reinforced at Howe Hour on Dog Day to land on beaches blue and yellow, seize objective 01 in assigned zone of action, then on division order, advance rapidly and seize Aslito Airfield and that part of Saipan Island in its assigned zone of action. Be prepared for further operations on order. The 2nd Marine Division reinforced at Howe Hour on Dog Day to land on beaches red and green. Seize objective 01 and assign zone of action. Then on division order, advance rapidly and seize Mount Tapacho and Mount Tipopali and that part of Saipan Island in its assigned zone of action. Protect the left, north flank of the Northern Landing Force and be prepared for further operations on order. The 10th Artillery Regiment of the 2nd Marine Division, with the 2nd 155 Howitzer Battalion attached, to land on Saipan on order of the Commanding General, 2nd Marine Division, and be in direct support of the assault echelon in the division zone of action. The 14th Artillery Regiment of the 4th Marine Division, with the 4th 105 Howitzer Battalion attached, to land on Saipan on order of the Commanding General, 4th Marine Division, and be in direct support of the assault echelon in the division zone of action. The 24th Corps Artillery to be prepared to land on Saipan Island on Dog Day, or any time thereafter, on order of the Commanding General, Northern Troops and Landing Force. It was to be in general support for the purpose of reinforcing the fires of the 10th Marines and 14th Marines. It was further to be prepared on order for further operations against Tinian Island. Field Artillery. The 27th Infantry Division Artillery and Floating Reserve under Expeditionary Troops Control to be prepared to pass the control of Commanding General Northern Troops and Landing Force on order and to land on designated beaches of Saipan and to support the Northern Troops and Landing Force the anti-aircraft artillery to land on order on beaches to be designated, furnish anti-aircraft protection in the zones of action of the 2nd and 4th Marine Divisions, and revert to control of Saipan Garrison Force on order. The Saipan Garrison Force to land on order on beaches to be designated, establish initial anti-aircraft defenses, 
initiate airfield repairs, and execute assigned base development missions. The 27th Infantry Division to be prepared to land on order on designated beaches on Saipan in the Charan Kanoa area, in Tanapag Harbor area, on the west coast north of Tanapag Harbor, or in Magasiani Bay in support of the Northern Landing Force. The order further directed that a naval force, including transport divisions, carrying reserve regiments of northern troops and landing force, were to conduct a demonstration in the area northwest of Tanapag Harbor on Saipan from one half hour before sunrise on dog day to about how plus one hour on dog day. Naval gunfire support mission. Beginning early in the morning on dog minus two days, fast battleships and destroyers of Task Force 58 were to destroy aircraft, render airfields temporarily useless, destroy coast defenses, enter aircraft batteries and artillery guns on both Saipan and Tinian. And on Saipan, burn all unburned cane fields lying south of Mucho Point, Bluff Point, destroy enemy defenses and personnel, and cover mine sweeping of the shelf to the westward of Saipan. On dog minus one day by bombardment group one, counter battery fire, area bombardment and interdiction fire on Saipan, and counter battery fire and target of opportunity fire on Tinian. This was to begin at daybreak for both islands and continue throughout the day on Saipan, with a mission to destroy as many coast defense guns, anti-aircraft batteries, artillery weapons, enemy defenses and personnel as possible. Particular attention was to be paid to the destruction of gun positions in Magasiani Bay and the beach defenses and installations on the selected landing beaches. Close supporting fire was to be provided to cover the beach reconnaissance by the underwater demolition teams. On Tinian, Fire Bombardment Group 2 was to continue throughout Dog Minus One Day and Dog Day with a mission to destroy and neutralize enemy guns and defenses, which could interfere with the landing on Saipan. On dog day against Saipan by bombardment groups one and two, counter battery fire commencing near dawn, and intense destructive fire on beach defenses and installations by ships, then to the flanks and inland to O-1 line until lifted by order. Main batteries to lift fire when the LVTs were 1,200 yards from the beaches and secondary batteries when the LVTs were 300 yards from the beaches. In addition, close supporting fire in the Tanapag Harbor area to cover the demonstration. 